<laughs> I can definitely taste the chemicals in that. How to test water quality. Go to Home Depot and get a TDS meter, total dissolved solids. The person that installs your reverse osmosis system will have a TDS meter. He can test your water. Roll up onto any tap, draw it right out of the hose. You can smell the chlorine in there. It smells a little industrial. You just want to ask yourself if I'm going to chuck that down my neck and how that might make me feel. The olfactory senses say, mmm, industrial contaminants, chlorine, fluoride may not be in my best interest. Why? Well, I'm an educated human being, but more than that, I have an acquired taste. And the acquired taste goes into a feeling mechanism, a knowing. Let me taste it though, see what happens. <laughs> I can definitely taste the chemicals in that. The next step is trying the reverse osmosis. This is purified water, four or five stage filtration system. The smell is gone. The bad industrial taste is gone. That's okay, but I'm gonna wanna structure that and put it in more of a bioavailable, tasty situation. So this vortexes the water, aerates it, lowers the surface tension, makes it more bioavailable. Hmm. As a water snob, that is smoother. It energizes me different from the tap. So that's purified, then structured water. One step before the structure would just be purified distilled water, taking all the total dissolved solids out of it, as well as mineral content. That's why you wanna put minerals back into it and structure it. So that's just pure H2O. Zero smell, very empty taste, and empty structure. Let's try one very simple structuring device which is the sea salt. You only need a pinch for about a quart of water. There's more energy in there. Figuring out what's best for you, I recommend becoming a water snob. Get knowledgeable and then whatever you can afford as far as getting the best and highest quality water into your body, I think it's important because you are 70% water. So it's important how you replenish that water.